Now let's take a look at setting up your email. Now there are two versions of email that you have through the district. There's a desktop version and a web version. We're going to look at how to set up your desktop version because they are the same thing, it's just how you access them that is different. But anytime you have the opportunity to, we highly recommend you use the desktop version. Why? Well, there's more features, it's better to use, and it's easier to use in a lot of cases as well. Save the webmail for when you're at home or at a different site than your home campus. So let's dive into taking a look at setting up that desktop version of the email. First thing you're going to do after you've logged in is go to the Start menu and search for Outlook. That's the program we use for your email. You notice that Outlook 2013 popped up, and that's what we want. So go ahead and click on that. Now what's going to pop up here is a wizard. It's our step-by-step -step process to guide you through getting your email up and running. A lot of that work has been done for you, so this should make life a little easier. So now that that screen's popped up, let's dive in and take a look. The first thing says, Welcome to Outlook. Great, let's hit next. The next thing it does is ask you, are you really trying to set up email? Yes, you are, so hit next. Now this is where you have to pay a little bit of attention. You can see that because I'm the one who logged in, both my name and my email address are already populated for me. If that's correct information, go ahead and hit next. Now keep in mind I said there that because I logged in, my information is there. You have to make sure that you are the person who logged into the computer you're setting the email up on. If somebody else logs in, it's not going to work for your email. Now on the back end, this has been running here for a second, getting everything set up for you on the server. Now is the part where you have to do something else. This box has popped up and there's one small change you need to make. See where it says .local? That needs to say .org. So change that to .org. You'll have to put in your password one more time, and if it's your computer, which it should be, go ahead and check the Remember My Credentials box. That will keep it from having you log in every single time. It'll do it automatically. Once you're done, click OK, and it will walk through the rest of the setup process for you. Now this part may take a few moments, and when it's done, there's one last button to click, which says Finish. Now that I've hit Finish, this is where the waiting begins. If you have not been cleaning out your email box, this process will take a few minutes. If you're new to Outlook or new to the district, or you keep a very clean inbox, this will be pretty speedy. Give it some time and let it run. It will pull down all the emails that you have in your email account.